What's up guys, Bullet Leon Motor. After two years using my TDR Steel of Carbon that I was very happy with, it's time to retire it. And this is the new helm that I chose. This is the Hero Commander. And I took it all white because I'm really fed up to be cooking inside my helmet, especially in Indonesia. So this is not an unboxing because I don't have the box anymore. I decided to carry it inside the, the bike. So it's going to be a big change because what I needed, I was really loving the TDR steel uh, carbon. Uh, but the problem was uh, at night vision because this one has the sun visor and then I can decide, I mean I can take it off when it's night and then I will have a clear where with this one I couldn't do that at all so it was a bit dangerous uh, at night even if it was, if it was only 20%, 25% uh, of uh, dark but uh, what is really funny is that this one is a carbon it weighs 1.4 kilo and this one is 1.5 so it's uh, exactly 1.5 kilo so I didn't want to have something more heavy than that and I really appreciate the vents for now on I'm gonna focus on how to put my cardo inside the, that helmet and uh, I will definitely, I'm really curious to see what it gives about the, the wind flow inside, the, inside that helmet. And then also we will see where we put the GoPro, etc. Uh, what I appreciate is that it comes with the, with the pin lock, so I will have to install that as well. And I really like the, what they give inside the box. First time I see that, so you have the okay little sticker hero commander pin lock. You have a, a chin net to avoid the buffering of the wind. Okay. Okay, so it will go under in here. And what I was surprised about is that they give you fixation for your cam, action cam. Very nice attention. First time I see something like that. Oh, I see. So this is for the dual sport version. Then you can clip that and directly clip the camera on top of it or you have the naked version where you could put this thing to replace the peak very nice so what I like about this helmet that you have a system that lock it in place good vent you can open and close this vent as well the material inside and I like the fact that you have the, the hole and the little uh, space for the speaker for my cardo so let's put all that in place So, for putting the cardo inside, I saw something interesting for this helmet, is that in here, you actually have a little hatch to put the cable in, to manage the cable. The only problem is that with the cardo, uh, this one is going inside, but this one for the speaker 
is way too big and it cannot fit in. So I will have to put it inside from this way. Unfortunately, I cannot use this little hatch. I guess Senna uh, or other can use it, but unfortunately for me, it will not do it. So I'm gonna have to put that little thing back in here and I'm gonna have to find my way through this one to put it in. So we're gonna do this one first. So you see how they made it, and then this is the place for the speaker. Okay, that's in. This one. That's better this way. Okay. Now the IPS has to go in first. Mm -hmm. it's okay. So here it is. So this is the final product with all install. I had to modify actually this part because to put the cardo uh, in, when I was putting the clip on, the cardo was not really uh, attached properly to the, to the side of the helmet and I was afraid that it will do some noise, some wind noise uh, uh, when I was in speed. So I put, uh, hopefully the Cardo, they deliver uh, a system that can, the plate with the 3M uh, glue, the 3M tape, and then uh, I fit the, the cable inside. And I had to, uh, I had to remove the, I had to remove the, the foam that were on the speaker, otherwise it was not comfortable for my ears. So that is done. For the GoPro mount, I decided to go with this mount. Because in that way, uh, it allow me to see the status if it's still recording, because from my eyes, I can see this little window here where you have this little screen of the GoPro Aero Session 4 and then I can see if it's still on or not where before when I was wearing it on the side I could never see it um, first I tried to mount it on the top uh, with the, the mount that they give but that was giving something weird it was giving the look of a Teletubbies <laughs> so I'm not a big fan and also, so the net is in place now. Uh, I tried it uh, on the road. I can say that we can really breathe well inside. And we can see also, I don't know if you can see guys, but we can see the mic in here. Maybe this way. Uh, I don't know if you see guys. This is a mic. Um, so yeah, I decided to go for that mount. I like the angle also. It give a more clear angle for for shooting. But I still decided to have uh, the mount in here, so I could fix my Sony uh, on top of it. If I go for touring, then uh, I will be able to switch cameras to cover long distance uh, shooting because I don't like to have a battery attached 
Uh, I don't have to have power bank attached on my helmet. I already have so many stuff. I mean, the GoPro and, uh, and the Cardo. So if I put that, for sure, I will take the GoPro off. But then uh, that's the decision I took. I decided to uh, be able to mount uh, two cameras and then switch them because I have two Sony like that and uh, one GoPro uh, session plus the Insta360 uh, One X. Um, and also what I, uh, the decision also to put it, uh, the, the mount on the top and I put the mount off the Sony is because the mount of the Sony has a screw. So I will be able to put also the Insta360. Um, so that's it guys. Uh, I can say that for now I'm happy with it. Um, I was complaining a bit about the light that was getting through. Uh, when I tried the helmet, it was a sunset, and I had some glare on the on the visor because of the of the light. And I also uh, put uh, I also installed the the pin lock. That was very easy to install, and that was one of the things I did first uh, to avoid to have mark uh, on the visor. And yeah, I really like the fact that you can definitely seal the visor in place. And I guess the glare is coming from the fact to have like, I'm so used to have my, uh, um, to have my uh, dark shield on the TDR, which is only one, uh, one layer. And now I have one, two and three with a pin lock. So it give her a weird vision, but I will have to adapt myself to it. So that's it guys. Like it if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it, subscribe if you want to, do whatever you want. But for now on, I can say, now, now on, I can say that I'm quite happy with that uh, setup. And we will see what it gives on the road. See you, bye bye.